Good morning. Happy Sunday. We're gonna... Kill what's up, Ryan? About to get our rewards for the week. All right, we made it to Diamond Tier 3. I mean, considering how much I attack in, uh, attack in PvP, not bad. Two eggs from Capture League. And we defeated boss level 50 this week, so got an extra 100 gems. Um... 30 from clan. Nice. 30 from. Not a bad haul. We'll take it. We barely beat 50 last night. At like 10 o'clock. With two hours to go. We have Love, Love Machine to thank for that. Love Machine came and joined the clan and boosted our boosted our titans a bit. So 700 Astro Gems, 60 Guild Points, two high eggs and a low egg. You know. I wish they would just get rid of low eggs. <laughs> I don't understand. Just give me like, I don't know. Just give me like 30,000 gold or something instead. Oh, bingo. Bingo's good for three eggs, guys. I'm going to I'm going to hop over to my phone and do it real quick. That's a fail, but that's all right. That's all right. Three eggs, though. We got to do it. Oh. Also, you might have noticed that we got the video going in the uh, in the stream today. A little new fancy. Still tied to the song requests and all that, but... We don't have the title though. I ran out of room, so I just hid the title. There is a scrolling title though. Let's get it. Yeah, there it is. But then the chat, the chat's gonna overlap it a little bit. That might be okay. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Uh, anyways, I'm gonna collect this bingo real quick. We'll get these three eggs. <coughs> The, uh, the bingo timer is a local timer to your device, so even though I was at zero minutes or whatever in the stream, in the emulator, on my phone I've already gotten it all, but I just forgot to claim it, so now I'm claiming it. Getting a fucking assload of bingos though. Four already. And we still have another piece. Five bingos. I don't even think you can get more than five bingos. Alright, done.
See all of our stuff here. We got our three eggs for our bingo plus <clears throat> a bunch of gold. We hit a bunch of bingos. Got some stupid fruit and stuff. <coughs> Must have did some gym power ups this morning because I had like six and a half mil. I say we just kick it off with the summons. Maybe we'll get something cool. Got a got a crazy week of farming. Just gonna try to get as many of those. I'd want to be able to Evo three, light, dark, and fire Gemini. If not for anything else, for the Astro Guide. I did get a fire cupid this morning, I think, from like a single egg. Might have spent the luck. The little luck that I did have. Three to go. Out of room. I don't know why I'm out of room. Oh, I know why I'm out of room because I can't rebirth anymore. Well, I can rebirth, but I have no reason to. Okay, let's just release all these new guys. Don't need them. Nap four or bust. Ten gems. All right. We'll stop there and we'll finish our last two eggs. Oh, this music video looks lame already. Okay, so we didn't get a single fucking nap for. Shocker. It's pretty normal. Where are we at here? Boom. That's how we do it, right there. Hour and a half until my Firestone finishes. Just working on Firestones for... You know, whatever. I've never had 30 Firestones. I've done a light and a dark. I have water for something. Do a fire now. Probably not gonna do a fire Yuki, but I might do fire succubus if that's ever a thing. Fifteen dragons runs. Let's register for clan real quick so we don't forget. Easy peasy. And we're done. 
I don't think we can register for this until tomorrow morning. What do we got here? <clears throat> oh, I'm one clue short. Let's go get a clue. Let's go get a clue. We'll do a looping dungeon and then we'll get then we'll do dragons. Maybe we could try like a B9 run today. Is that the green one? I'd like to give that one a try. I think probably. I mean, I have a I have a succubus, a vampire. Um, what other fire units do I have? Six star. Can't even remember. Oh, I have a fire monkey. I don't know if Fire Monkey will be any good for uh, dragons, though. He's just. He just got some, like, pretty basic gems, but he's attack, attack, HP. I gotta have something else fire. I just don't remember. Oh, I have Balrona. Fire Balrona. But she's fucking underwhelming, dude. Fire Balrona is underwhelming. Boom, there's our 10th clue right there. It's that easy. You just demand a clue, and boom, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so this is what we're rocking. Who cares? Does some defense breaks and some attack downs and some CS and some heals. when I'm gonna not be able to kill it anymore I think I've I think I've killed each of them so far You guys can see my sig my Sigurd in action. He still needs to be Evo 3, but it's pretty cool. He's on leech. Attack attack HP. So he's just like constantly healing himself up. And also his first skill is uh 20% HP. So even whenever he doesn't get CS, he buffs himself 20% and then plus his damage. Getting some uh, getting some kind of shitty RNG over on the right side. But maybe we'll get a three turn attack break at least out of it. Yeah, okay. And now let's see some CS. Yeah, there we go. Good, Katine. I was wor I was worried if Katine was gonna proc his seal or not, or her heal or not, or whatever, because of the their HP wasn't that low. Low enough though, good. Pretty, pretty important we keep the attack down on there now. This guy's starting to hit pretty hard. You know, on top of the defense breaks. Of course, Shelly Shelly got double orb. Oh no, he didn't. Sorry, Leo Leo got one too. But. 
Shelly is an orb magnet. That's the only problem I have with Shelly and, uh, you know, this is basically kind of like Titans. Orb magnet, dude. Alright, we don't have a defense break. That sucked. We're, we're falling apart now. <laughs> Oh, and we missed the attack break. Dang. We'll be lucky if we can survive this next hit. Nope. Bye bye, Water Indra. He just got fucking wrecked. He was defense broken, though. Sigurd is not defense broken. We can see what he does. Oh, uh, he didn't crit, but he did completely refill his own health. And will live to fight another turn. Now, now you can really see the power of the leech. get a defense break but we're not gonna be able to because now Leo's gonna be sucking all those orbs obviously we'll see how long these guys can keep it up <laughs> one crit and Sigurd is dead oh now he's definitely dead anyways got defense broken GG. Oh, and Leo got crit. Got the B team now, but they should be able to clean it up. Look at that! Sigurd out damaged. Uh, Indra. It's the first time I've ever seen that. This is RNG. And. Nice. And also, uh. The leech, man, just makes him survive longer. Even if he does slightly less damage, he gets, you know, four more turns. I wonder if we'll be able to clear eight. Uh, let's go. Uh, let's go open those eggs, huh? We earned them. Let's open them. Phoenix. Dang! I was feeling it that time. I thought we were gonna get a little something, something. Just like a water wild thing or something. Nope! Alright, let's go do dragons. Let's go get punished. Vivian has a little more uh, resistance this week. <laughs> I don't know if that really matters, but maybe we can get a lucky uh, resistance at the boss, but he usually dies when the boss um, does AoEs and stuff, so it's not Vivian is not usually in a position to resist the shock and do anything anyways but that's okay
Didn't resist that, did he? Sign of things to come, guys. Missing crits left and right. It begins. <laughs> bye bye. off to uh, Vivian getting a resist man maybe maybe the dragon will go for uh oh it doesn't matter aoe incoming everyone dies anyways we, uh, we first run we already saw the power of the Vivian resist and how it doesn't fucking matter <laughs> but hopefully in pvp it does matter that's what i'm hoping for He went from like 17% to like 30. You got 15 runs today. Not a bad deal. Partly because of the dice roll event. We've gotten, probably gotten like nine or 12 from there. So definitely more than we would have had if that event was not in existence. Man, do you see this shit? If we don't get a defense break on her, we can't even do 50% damage to her when we throw everything we've got. Both of our healers got their uh, stuff, though. Oh my god! <laughs> and heals don't matter. Wow. That's crazy, man. Let's do as much damage as we can. And resists again wow game really wanted to demonstrate Vivian resisting oh not gonna get the AoE look at that look at that look at that fucking rigged rigged now I'm gonna lose cuz now I'm about to get popped again ah, that's so stupid GG GG. All we can hope for is that they that dragon goes for birdie. That's our only hope. Oh, pfft. never mind. Doesn't even matter. Can't hit a fucking crate. This is crazy. 
two crits and that would have been that would have been it but can't do it like 82 percent crit rate i think might as well be 50. I've just come to expect it from her now at this point, so. When it really matters in the clutch, do not try to count on the Miho. Not in Dragons, anyways. She does pretty good in, uh, PvP though. She's usually pulling out the clutch in PvP. Oh, I need a defense break. Oh, we're fucking dead. Probably dead anyways. Thor might die. That was close. Got a little bit of his heals back, or a little bit of his health back, I mean. Damn. Triple team. Couldn't do it without the birdie. Need one resist. One resist. <sighs> Miho did it. Fucking finally. Gems are exceptional. It. <laughs> uh, 
Got our Thor. Oh, at least we're gonna waste the AoEs. So that went well. It was a pretty good pretty good run overall, like should be a for sure only single refill. Siphon, baby. Defense, cool. Okay. I don't have any of those. <clears throat> we'll take it. I don't know, maybe I can use it on like a defense aggressor. <laughs> Put it on uh, C Star. Siphon C Star. Kind of prefers siphon gems to be of the attack nature, though, right? Like attack, crit rate, crit damage, kind of thing. Damn, just missed a lot of crits there in that little, I don't know, what do you call it, turn, I guess. Volley. Oh my god, we got a full-blown lyric video now. That's the one thing about the playing the music video. Some of them are... This one's not bad, but some of them are, like, lame. Like, that one earlier, that's just, like... A love story or some shit. I don't know. Just not the vibe I'm going for. That's all. Nothing wrong with a love story. Just. Finally. Okay. Who should I should I hit this guy one more time? That is not 50%. You better not AoE me. Aw, oh, man. I thought I was going to kill that other guy, though. All right, here we go. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, a music video earlier was, like, a guy and a girl, and it was, like, showing them, like, texting each other, and it's like, what the fuck is this shit? Oh, there's crit damage, but not, I don't care about yellow. I don't need no crit damage yellow gems. Especially with two subs that neither of them is crit rate. You know, one super nice thing about this game is that it lets you roll the subs first. Although I guess you could, I guess you could argue either way, but in Summoner's War, when you power up a gem, it's upgrades first. So if you get a, if you get a, they're called runes, but we'll just say gems. If you get a gem and it has two subs on it, then you don't get to roll sub three and four and then upgrade any of the four. Instead, you upgrade subs one and two randomly, and then you add two subs at the end. 
So you uh, you have to really commit to a gym to even see what all the subs are, right? You'll, you'll never see all the subs until plus 12, unless it already has them, okay? Like a legendary or whatever. But there's kind of an upside to it though, right? Like if you get a, like a six star gem that's got crit rate and resist, then you know that, holy shit, Vivian's almost dead. Then you know that the first two upgrades are going to go to crit rate and resist, guaranteed. So, oh my god. Oh my god. I don't think we're gonna be able to kill her, guys. I think I need to heal. Or I think I need to do AoE. Fuck. Whatever. Just do it. Who cares? Oh my god, we missed everything. Whew. Missed the fucking crit though. Okay, yeah, Fibian would have died, I think, if we hadn't done the AoE, but I don't know, whatever. Whatever. This is a bad run. <laughs> no matter what happens, this is not going well. Let's kill these guys, they hit really hard. But they're also easy to kill. It's kind of like the gyms thing, you know? It's like there's double-edged sword. There's a good side and a bad side. Anyways, I think that I prefer the way that it is in this game where I get to see the subs. So that it just means that any gym has the potential to be good, you know? The SW method just makes me store more runes that I eventually won't use. Yeah, that's kind of how I feel too. What's up, Drunk Toon Link? Welcome back. It has been a while. Alright, I'm, I'm in a bit of a pickle here, guys. Alright, main mission, survive long enough, get him down to 50% so that at least our refill is because of that. Alright, we're gonna go for another turn. Really need this guy to use his AoEs. It's our only chance at having a uh, single turn refill. Is he gonna get it? Okay, so we need someone to survive. Then he'll get his his AOE and then use it. Cool. So that's how we turn. That's how we turn Thor dying in the first round into <laughs> a single turn or a single refill run. And so now we're we're in pretty good shape because he's nowhere near an AOE for a couple turns at least. So yeah, to your point, Max Dad, every gym in this game, first of all, has potential because of this fact that you can just like power it up to like plus six and find out find out if it even has potential. And then also, like you said, you can do it quickly, you just get it to plus six, see if it's worth your time, and then just ditch it if it's not. Which Gemini is best? Uh, I don't mean, probably for like every, if you just want to use one for everyday use, probably the fire one. But the dark one has some like super duper <laughs> niche use case probably. <coughs> Which slots? Uh, I mean, just whatever. Triple square, <laughs> square square triangle. I think she does heals and team heals. I don't think she relies on crit or anything, but it's always nice to have. So, I mean, I would just farm. I would just farm for like, you know, until you have 16 of them and just see what you got and go with the best shapes 
Probably like a double square triangle or something like that. Hmm. Alright, let's just see what happens here. What do we what do we got? Can you kill one of these things? Can you kill one of these things? Yeah, you can. Nice. Well, currently I have a variant with double square triangle at Evo 2. Well, there you go. That's probably, like, you could probably just commit to that. And not really sweat it if you pull a triple square or something, like. Alright, let's see a defense break. Just can't do it. Can't do it! It's gonna be a close one. But we gambled on it. Nope, didn't get it. Damn though, man, this guy. Too strong. I don't want this guy alive either. But whatever. Go for it. Probably could have waited one more turn just to like really make sure he'd get his AoE, but it looks like it worked out. Vivian is resisting, guys. Getting him up to like a 30% from 15% made a big difference. Triple square variant Dark Mona. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's probably your best unit. Dark Mona's a good unit. She's a good farmer. She's even more OP on Siphon, but she doesn't need it. She just needs 100% crit rate. But damn, on Siphon, she's like next level awesome. Just say that. Man, Nox, Nox kind of struggled with that there for a second. It's like, oh shit, you're attacking with all three monsters at the same time? Ah, oh, she did not die. So have you guys played this uh, new, uh, it's new to me anyways, Realm Royale? Looks like Fortnite as far as just like, and the face of it but it's like pretty different and also way more approachable looking. Fortnite looks like some fucking ADD shit, dude. Like, just people like build, 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 build. jump, 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 build, 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 jump, jump. The realm, realm, realm royale looks much more approachable. Like someone who just, if you know how to play like a FPS, you can play this game. It's not a FPS technically; it's third person. But if you've ever played SP FPS, like you can play this game. All right, here we go. Defense break, baby. I just looked it up, it is Paladins. <laughs> oh, no crit on the, the fucking dragon. Miho at it again. I watched it for a while back when I cared about smiting hires. Oh, I see. 
yeah. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool looking. One of the one of the really cool things about it is uh just like neat little not Easter egg, but just like features. Uh you know how you can die from falling in Fortnite and like PUBG and stuff? Well in Realm Royale, you cannot die from falling. You just have like a sweet superhero landing. Where you just like like land on your knees and you know the ground like explodes underneath you. It's pretty cool. Just like one less thing to fucking worry about. It doesn't matter that much because it's not Fortnite, right? Like Fortnite makes sense. There's got to be falling damage in Fortnite. <clears throat> but they just took it out of this game. Pugilist, baby! Oh, yeah! I hope this rolls resist, and then resist, and then resist, and then resist. But we'll see. I haven't played any of the new Battle Royale style games that... I haven't played any PC games in so long. Just period. Thor! We need you! Same philosophy regarding fall damage. They just simplified the mechanics to make it easier to get into. Yeah, it really looks like anybody, like, even if you don't play video games, like, you could play that game. And it's got, uh, what else does it have? Just like, uh, like in Trove, like in Trove, you can just, like, summon a horse and ride around on it. So you can get places faster. Yeah, there's a forge. So if you find... I was watching someone play. I haven't actually played it. So if you find items that you don't want, you can, like, break them down into shards. And then there are forges on the map. I know you know this, just if anyone else is watching or whatever. There are forges on the map that you can take those pieces to and, like, forge better stuff. It's pretty cool. Damn it. That was close. Oh, shoot. Took, a, took out my CS, though. That hurts. That was the last bit of damage I needed right there. Was Thor. Died with Thor. I don't need that gym. It's a square. Oh no! That is not cool, guys. 
double team my Thor and resist my defense break, I feel ripped off. They're not gonna be able to do it. I have to bring in, oh my gosh. Bye bye, Thor dead. Doesn't fucking matter. Jesus. Can you imagine if they give skill books to this fucking purse, man? Oh, thank you. Make any Ramus? Yeah, I started working on a light one. None of them are, like, amazing, but... The light one is at least like a unit that a, like an early mid game player could use the shit out of. Even if I can't really anymore. to get fucked if we miss this defense break come on Thor yes Whew, that was close realm royale I should download it not that I'll ever get a chance to play it but at least I can go get my uh... oh it's on steam at least I can go get my username. Someone fucking took my username in Fortnite. A sad day when I found that out. Uh, how how do you fucking search? Oh, there it is, idiot. Oh damn it! I forgot to download that other game too. Uh, totally accurate battlegrounds. I hope it's not too late. I need to check. But. Damn it! Forgot to download that. Oh well. How much is it now? I'm not gonna buy it, but. Four ninety nine now. Fucked it up. I just I hadn't been on my PC. Um. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy it. <laughs> I'm done buying games for a little while for sure, unless there's just something exceptional that comes out. Uh, but I'm gonna give Realm Royale a good. They just released solos also. Apparently, it started out with just. Uh, Duos and what do they call it? Duos and squads. Okay. But they have solos now. What do you think about this whole like drop in thing? I watch it and it looks like you can easily just get fucking trolled. But. I don't know, maybe there's some like obvious benefits over like random spawn points and stuff. Yo, what's up, Angel? Just so weird that you can just like r literally watch where people are going if you just wait. But also, they get down there and get items before you because you waited. So I mean, yeah, I, I see that it may, it probably balances out.
Because you don't start with shit. Which I guess is the only reason it works. Because you start with no items. As opposed to a lot of games you at least start with like a pistol. What's a what's an AFK drop? I don't know what that means. I think I could kind of guess, but I, I'm not sure. Oh. I feel like if you don't drop, you you die. That's what should happen. You fucking lose. <laughs> yeah, just removed from the server. <laughs> Goodbye. You had your chance. No! That was too far, guys. Oops. Oopsies! You about to get murdered! To get a resist, though, that's nice. Alright, please go for the birdie. Please go for the birdie. I can get one more turn out of this. Okay, I think we're gonna be in good shape now. We're gonna be in good shape. Jeez. Closer than it should have been. Tarkov has spawn points instead of drops, but fights sort of similar to a BR. Yeah, yeah. They do they they do get rid of a lot of the predictive nature of predetermined spawn points. And it's a different game, I guess, than what I'm used to. I'm used to like a deathmatch, right? Slightly different. it actually includes respawns. I do think it's cool that they, like, you know, everyone kind of has, well, actually... Everyone's kind of ripping off the same ones now, but I can see people getting pretty creative with the way that you drop into the game. Um, in every other game that has free-for-all or team deathmatch, the spawn area has to be protected. Yeah. Like, I remember in Quake, you just have, like, a extra health boost basically for the first like five seconds that you are alive but it still just turns into a clusterfuck then you end up just getting wrecked by some dude because he spawned and you can't kill him <laughs> Continuous fight. Right, right, right. It has respawns. It's very different from Battle Royale. It 
seems like to me like battle royale is like you spawn you, or you drop you fucking hide for 10 minutes while everyone just kills each other <laughs> Wait till it's cold down to about 50% and then you get out there and get to work. I never played them though. Damn. This is trouble, guys. I'm gonna just go ahead and get a defense break over here, I guess, because she's not gonna die anyways. Oh no! In an unexpected turn of events, Fibian gets fucking dropped. I like him. I don't know what comes after BR, but I'm certainly fucking waiting. MMOs, block worlds, battle royale, literally anything, please. <laughs> Oh, nice crits. Jeez. Yo, what's up, Amniok? Thank you for gracing us with your presence. All right, this is all gonna be, oh my God. so graceful <laughs> oh wow Thor got a huge he like soaked up all the red orbs there that was nice cannot hit a crit though just incapable oh my gosh I missed it again all right let's see if we can kill the side minion yes we can at least we don't have to worry about him anymore. Oh my gosh. We cannot get a defense break, guys. But maybe we can get this dude to spend his AoE. Oh, to the bye. <laughs> Alright, man. See you later. Thor, I need you to live. I need you to live. Live. Oh, that was better than living. Oh my god. Oh, Dragon did not get AoE. Better fucking believe that. Set up for failure. Missed a crit again. That was like four in a row. It's crazy, man. Amniok, I'm gonna need you to fucking leave. <laughs> you brought some bad, bad omens or whatever with you. It's crazy. Yo, what's up, Ibat? Oh, now you get the defense break. Good job. Now that it doesn't fucking matter. That was a painful run. So many points of failure that had to happen for that to be such a shit ass run and they all happened. Everything. Yo, what's up, IBAP? I already said that, but what's up again? Is this 
crazy. orbs from that. Jesus! Everything that can go wrong is going wrong. Resisted, you saw that? Fucking resisted. Story of my life. Finally got a dark Ramu. I was gonna say, what the fuck you need that for? That guy sucks. But that's a good reason. That's a good reason. I missed one Rebirth LD in my- oh, really? I miss them all the time. Just due to pure apathy. I just don't care. About certain... Medusa Rebirth. Come on, baby. Today's a special day. Actually, last, last week was pretty fucking special too, so... It's a special... month. Alright, we healed up! chance is to get one more turn in here hope for a little something something and do it up there we go there we go what's up chosing did chosing bring some good luck huh Ah! Nope. Just another average fucking square gem from Dragon's B10. We did not walk away with nothing today, though. We'll go check out the two gems that I did get. Although not game changing. I don't bring good luck when you ask for it. Oh, so you're just a dick. Well, I was gonna bring the luck, but since you asked, nah. 22 minutes until our uh, craft is done. In the meantime, 
Gonna summon a wood purse real quick. Did I say wood purse? I meant a wood hunter. Trash. Cycle this guy, see what we get. Huh? Oh, look at that. Recycled for another high egg. Come on, baby. Let's convert one of these. Damn it. <laughs> Are the rebirth mons worth it? Eh. Eh. Alright, we recycle again. What you got for me this time? 100,000 gold. Okay. Not bad. Let's go hit up some farm. Oh wait, no, no, no. Let's go look at the new gems that I got. Like I said, they're not they're not game changing. But. A little something, something. All right, we got a defense pugilist gem. Yes, and we got a defense siphon gem. We went defense today. De defense was hot. So if this rolls resistance, I might be happy. Or crit rate, I guess. HP. Meh. So keep it. <clears throat> I think the light. The Light Ramu has potential. But, um. Aw, oh, defense flat. Uh, the, the Light one has potential for, like, a farmer. But probably really only for, like, early mid game players. Uh, there, there are some equivalent or better units even as you get more options but i'm not sure i'd have upped one with these subs well that's your problem you're a greedy unappreciative gym owner see See how Tina blesses me with crit damage? This gym now, this one is pretty much useless. Because who needs defense siphon? Recovery, baby. Speaking of that recovery. Does defense scaling? Sure. Yeah, that would work. You would want to use this on a defense aggressor. There's really no reason to use Siphon on a defense aggressor, or on any unit as like a tank. Siphon C star, it's gonna happen. Give me that crit rate, Tana. Oh, so like this gym is pretty not good. Not gonna help you siphon any more. 7.5%. I mean, come on. What am I supposed to do with that? We'll keep going with this one, though. I don't care. This will go on something eventually.
Easy arena defense wins. For what? Siphon Sea Star? Maybe. You would need some pretty good siphon gems. Something I don't have. The problem is if you don't do any damage that the siphon is useless. So the unit needs to be doing damage for Siphon to really matter. Ooh. Hey, at least we got HP roll on that last one. Um, who could I entertain putting that gem on? You. I could do, even though this is a good gem. Man, I've been gone for so long, I don't know what defense meta is. It's Pugilist. <laughs> It's Pugilist and Seal, and usually Pugilist and Seal at the same time. Um, okay, so we got Attack, we got HP, and then I did another HP, but should I put Defense on here? It, it would eat into her crit rate quite a bit, though. 15%. Of her crit rate actually but she has no defense right now no additional defense that is how would it do on and it would eat into her resist as well okay yeah no I'm not gonna put this on there she needs that resist and yeah pugilist light valk I don't know whatever <laughs> I don't know why at first, I was like, eh, it's kind of dumb to put Pugilist on a unit that already has a 100% chance to disable. But then someone pointed out, like, ah, eh, but Pugilist can't be resisted. And I'm like, okay, yeah, that is kind of a double fuck. And then... Here's the problem, I think, with my defense right now, as it stands. When you look at this team... Well, at least when I look at this team, I should say. When I look at this team, I immediately think... Get rid of that Valkyrie. And I think that's not very hard to do. She's not that strong. Yes, exactly. Someone can drop my Valk with two Dark Mons. Probably not the, uh, probably not Nike, but Valkyrie is an easy kill, and she's an obvious target, so I think that kind of makes her a little weak here. Uh, because she's the only obvious, she's the only obvious threat. Like, she, she can shock you. So just get rid of her kind of thing. Before I had Birdie in there, makes it a little more, makes it a little more up in the air. In, in my opinion, who the target is here. And no matter who you attack, you're gonna you're gonna have to waste you're gonna have to waste some turns trying to kill them. Because they're all tanky. Hmm. Switch nightmare? Are you on drugs? Nightmare is the most OP unit on this fucking team. Yeah, I, can, I think I like Birdie more. I think it makes it a little tougher. Yeah, the, the strategy here, in my mind, is you have to spend your first turn killing one of these units, maybe, if you kill one, because none of them are super easy to kill. Um, so by the time you spent your first turn killing one of these units, Fibian comes out, and then 
dishes out some hurt. Because he hits really hard. Anyways, we'll go with Birdie. We'll put Birdie back in. Put up Kraken instead of Nike and Light Valk hidden. And remove Vivian? Yeah. Light Valk hidden, huh? That would be a, a shock. And go for a crit rate lead. Interesting thought. Something like this instead? Or... What? Oh, keep the res lead. Yeah, the res lead is nice. All right, we're gonna roll with this defense for the week. We'll see how it does. Um, it's interesting. The only weak, the only weakness is this guy. His defense isn't that high. He's rocking a crit rate, Jim. But maybe we should buff this one. Obviously. Ugh. Yuck! That's an ugly ass. Some ugly ass subs on that gym. This one looks a lot better. That one is terrible. All right, we'll roll with that. No Fibian, huh? But everybody will. Everybody's hard to kill now. Fibian can be killed pretty easily. Valk is harder to kill than Fibian. Let's go check this guy out. Don't think we can do better. Oh, unless I wanted to put fucking huge crit rate HP <laughs> and switch this to defense. Go like defense, defense, HP. Huh. Not by choice, but I'm just... Some solid defense square gems. What do we think? Would it be better? Would it be better to have HP defense? Or sorry, sorry. Let me start over. Would it be better to have crit rate defense defense like it is now? Or would it be better to have like defense, defense, HP, still have big crit rate, but have HP on there? Kind of curious. Because we lose 54% crit rate here, but this one doesn't even have crit rate. So this would add 20% crit immediately. And then we would replace this with defense to make up for the other defense main stat. And then use like one of these that has 15% crit rate, like this one. So that would make up 30, 35% of the crit rate would come back. Hmm. Oh, we're out of music, guys. And we're back. I think I already looked around for someone else with a defense. Keep high crit rate without crit rate gym. Right, but the, the question is though, this gym here, if I'm going to replace it, I mean, I can only get 15% back if I only replace this one gem. Which is not great. That, that basically takes him down to like 65. Yeah. 
But if I'm gonna use this full on my defense, I definitely need to step step her up a notch. all the way on. That was easy. Nice gym for Light Cupid. Yeah. One day. I got a fucking variant Cupid sitting in my storage waiting for one of them LZ Cupids also. Tina, Tina, come on. Got this. Got this. Two more tries. No. Not looking good. Nice try. Okay, so, anyways, back to the original talk. Worth sacrificing 40 crit rate. To, to change this to defense for something like this one is no, not that one crit rate attack no, not that one. this one it'll have to be this one I think for deep for league defense like you kind of have to otherwise like C stars may be a little bit of a threat but just like super easy to kill all right maybe Tina will give this gym some love not looking good so far. Right, we'll try one more time. And then that's it. Dark Merlin. Good idea. Got to get these finished up though. Alright, so now we only have 60% crit rate, but still not terrible. So... Over half of the time, she'll still be hitting pretty hard. And, well, actually, hitting even harder. Less of the time, but hitting harder. Man, is it time to dump 2.4 mil? Is it time? 
20% damage. That's pretty big buff. Gonna have to go for it. I've been holding out. Today's the day. Bye bye gold. Can't really see if Kraken's any good on defense if we don't skill her up all the way. Don't care which way it goes, because we're doing all of them. Wow, I got three on the right and then four on the left in a row. It's so annoying, even whenever all four of one side are filled up, it still does like the random, like the random back and forth <laughs> thing. Anyways. All right, fully skill booked. Let's go throw some more money at it. Come on, baby. My PC just died. Oh, can't handle the Kraken. Can't handle Tina's shit ass rates. Same page, Tina. And I was about to catch a mammoth. Or you were about to miss your third mammoth. You chump. All right, so we're still 16% defense short, which is equivalent to about 500. So we'll get him up to, or her up to 6K here, plus three will be a nice even-ish uh, 9,000 defense. Not quite as much as this lady who is 1,100, but has more crit rate and should be all right. It's a good gym, right? Yeah, it's a good gym. Good, good. Back to the farm. As you can see, I'm leveling up my light Ramu. You can see our new C star. Or our, new, our newly gym C star. <coughs> oh, 
<clears throat> Looking for Geminis. And also a uh, a bolt wing. If we catch a bolt wing, we're gonna fuse light Shiva. We're just gonna fucking eat all of the Anubis that we have, all the bolt wings. Start over. Who cares? We don't even use them really. Then I'm gonna build a pugilist light Shiva. It's my goal. Oh man, I should have waited three more minutes. I mean, I say waited, just gets an early start. But in three minutes, capture rate up starts. Which gives an extra 15% base capture rate, which comes in real handy for those legendary mons who only have like a 20% chance. All of a sudden you're getting like 35, 40% chance base. It's nice. But it does not start for three minutes, so if we run into a bolt wing in the first, in the next two minutes, I have seen a crap load of Mihos, but not very many Bolt Wings. <clears throat> and it probably goes without saying that there's uh, a lot of Seedlers. Nice, MSL saying the app has been modified and I need to reinstall. Weird. What's up, Juan Jose? Sorry to hear that, but... Oh man, do I have to do that? Maybe it's just you Europe people. Wah. Hey, hey, hey! Found the pretty little ladies. Okay. Right before capture rate up, though. Oh, wait, no, that looks like capture rate up, dude. Perfect timing. Maybe it was scripted. The noon, the noon o'clock scripted Gemini. Is that a regular one? Oh, it didn't even show up. What a piece of crap. So they talk about clan clan chat will no longer reset. Like, pfft, shit. The chat's constantly reset. First Gemini! First ever! 
So that even, uh, that should proc the uh, Astro Guide also. Not even counting this quest. What do they look like when they're variant? So I can tell. Okay, they're like the more bright. Well, make sure it's tied to your Facebook account or your Google Play account before you... Oh, well, it's kind of... You kind of can't. <laughs> Damn, so what about people who were playing and hadn't linked their account yet? You can't, like, log in to fix it. You have to reinstall. That's crazy. That is not a solution. Ugly as fuck? I mean, ugly, maybe. Ugly as fuck, that sounds kind of harsh. Yeah, 38 water stones, baby. No water units worth Super Evo in my box at this point. I just have Miho and Nike, and I don't think they're that worth it. Maybe Nike one day, but whatever. I thought about water Nike, but I'd have to fuse more mix then. I would, I would just have to six star mine and finish her uh, up to level 60. Hey, Juan Jose, are you in Europe? Or Asia? Africa. I don't know, just the Eastern Hemisphere anywhere. <clears throat> oh, really? Okay. I was just wondering if the uh, updates were a regional thing, because IBAP is over in Europe and had says that had the same thing, but I am not seeing that, so I didn't know if it was like a, a regional thing. But if you're in uh, NC, which I assume is North Carolina, uh... No, uh, <laughs> I'm assuming he means North Carolina, but I don't know. That's what NC means to me. Could be like Northern Canada. You would be correct, North Carolina. Nice. I've been there. I went to the... Visited some family in North Carolina when I was a kid and went to like the North Carolina-Virginia state line and went to the beach. First and only time I've been to the uh, Pacific Ocean. I live in Texas, so when I go to the ocean, it's the Gulf of Mexico. <laughs> Which... The Texas parts of Gulf of Mexico, not so great. The Mexico parts of Gulf, Gulf of Mexico, pretty nice. The water's just real brown off the coast of Texas because of the Mississippi River. Just kind of dumps into the ocean and churns it all up. Do I care about this or do I just want to kill it? I kind of just want to kill it. I don't care. And also, we don't have waves uh, in Texas and the Gulf. No waves. 
I mean, there are waves, but they're like, you know, a big wave is like three feet. Virginia, isn't that where family marries family? Probably at some point. You would know better than me. You live in North Carolina. I live in Texas. I'm very far from uh, Virginia. Isn't Texas hot as fuck right now? Yeah, you could say that. One could say that you don't like uh Ooh, a hyperdyne, baby. Good luck if you try it. Um Not as hot as it's going to be in a month or two, though. The summer really, like, just started a couple weeks ago. July and August are the hottest... ...and the hottest months. was 5% or 5% 5 degrees cooler I want to die Well, we don't do Celsius here, of course. But it's been in the it's been in the 90s the Fahrenheit. What's up, Daytoms? Materials for 28th lights done. Jeez. 
I'm just doing fire. I'm gonna do a fire succubus. <laughs> Good job, I bet. <clears throat> Guys, I've made it to the top of YouTube. I'm getting spam comments. <laughs> God damn it. I wonder what I'm supposed to do about that. Other than go delete it. Spam comment hype! I'm go for now until I get home. All right, see ya. Thanks for stopping by.
Show my boss that I'm done. Had no luck with my mom. Say, what will you do with your life? You know it's hard to survive. A cigar in my mouth. Maybe guilty but proud. Now I'm an outlaw on the run. Dangerous, but it's so fun. BRB. All right. Finish out this energy. I think we got about 60, 60 ish energy left. How many? 55. So, so 11, 11 runs. 11 runs to find a bolt wing.
four more runs. <clears throat> we'll have to peace out for the day. Say the word. All right, here it is. The last run of the day. Oh, wait. We might get two runs, depending on how the energy shakes out here. <clears throat> if either the timer resets or the this run drops one energy Since I reinstalled, I'm not in my clan. Ooh, fun. Oh, no. It's gonna be it. Didn't quite make it. I wonder if it kicked me out if you're booted from the clan. Uh, are you like a kind of new player? Were you an apprentice? Because at the end of the at the end of your apprenticeship, it does kick you from the clan automatically. 
And that, I think, is like five weeks or something you have to do that for. And then after five weeks, it kicks you. And that would happen on Sunday, so... I'll hope... I will hope for your sake that that's all it was. Something simple like that and not like a glitch in the game. You were an apprentice, all right. Yeah, you probably finished your apprenticeship then. You probably finished your apprenticeship and it probably kicked you automatically. It's kind of lame that it does that because then there's no way for you to really contact them again and be like, hey, can I get back in the clan? But I guess you can just reapply to the same clan. Didn't get your rewards. Hmm. That's lame. Going to a better clan. Cool. Well, you're welcome to join Kilowatt. Although I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, I would not assume that it's a better clan, though. <laughs> so, but you're uh, anyone is welcome. Anyone that actually wants to fucking play. All right, let's kick. Let's uh, tap this fucking gym one more time, and then we'll take off. everybody I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today sorry I bap I miss you if you come back after this <laughs> you BRB a long time ago so anyways I really appreciate you guys hanging out with me today I'm gonna call it go ahead and shoot the oh I was gonna shoot the host over to that other dude that was streaming but they're gone now so never mind Join us on Discord, subscribe on YouTube, all that cool stuff. And we'll see you guys in the morning, 8 a.m. Central Time. Appreciate it.